We are here at 8682 for the post-game show. Mike Joseph standing by with Fran O'Hanlon. Thanks, Gary. Here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, a game that really came down to, like we just said, a couple possessions. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we we they're really good. The kid Griffin is a handful. It's hard to contain him. It was hard to contain a lot of them. I, I thought we did a good job today. We we got better. I, they, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, we're, uh, we competed with them. Uh, they hurt us on the boards in the first half, but I, I thought overall we we did uh, we competed the whole game, you know, yeah. uh, against a really athletic team who really goes to the boards hard, you know. Yeah, and that's a team I think that may mimic some of the teams you're going to see in the future in the league. So a good preparation for your guys as well, especially some of your young guys. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, like I said they we need to grow up. Um, games come down to a couple of possessions and. Um, and we had to execute in those possessions, a couple turnovers. Uh, but when you play against a team like that, you got to play really well throughout the whole game. Yeah, and you can't have any letdowns. Coach, you go away to Drexel, you come back. Uh, what do you tell your team going into for, for now, right now? Well, I think we took a step. Now, obviously, you'd like it to be with a win, but we took a step. And now we got to build off. Uh, I thought we played two good halves today. Not as good as we would like, but, um, you know, I thought we competed for two halves. And uh, coming out of the Princeton game, we played one really good half. Good, yeah. Now we have to uh, put string together 40 minutes of basketball. You know? and once again, we're on the road. Uh, starting out, you know, uh, five out of our first six games on the road is never easy for anybody. Uh, but we'll, we'll uh, get back together and, uh, and learn from this and, and move on. We know you will, Coach. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's bring Matt in here, Matt. 30 points for you. I know you traded for a win, but that, I think, is one of the more athletic teams you'll see all year, not only inside but outside. Yeah, they were a really good team. You knew coming in they would, they're they going to be running a lot of the offense, a lot of the Patriot League schools do. So, I mean, it was a good test for us. Came up short. Got to get better. Good ball movement, I thought, offensively. You got the ball out, and you have a couple young guys that really have no fear, which can loosen things up on the inside, which I think it did for you. Yeah, it was nice to see the young guys step up yet again. I mean, they've been playing great the first five games. Uh, we just need to figure out on defense. I mean, they can't score 80 something points like that. Yeah, I think that's. And that was my next question. Defensively, uh, what do you have to do? What do you work on defensively? Is it is it just movement inside on the on? It's all man to man. So where do you go from here defensively? Uh, just gotta keep working on it. Keep keep getting in the stance, making sure we're talking, communicating. I mean, we 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 tell ourselves that every day. Got to communicate and talk and be in the right spot. Play team defense. Right. So I mean, that's what we have to work on. And we're gonna get it done. Hopefully sooner, later than better. Good. Go away for a game and then you come back. Got a couple games at home. Looking forward to that. Thanks. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm excited for it. Appreciate so. it, Matt. Good luck. Thank you. St. Peter's team, I tell you what, we saw some athletic guys up front and we saw Lafayette stay right with them. I think it bodes well for the future. Back to you. Question. It's certainly a good basketball game here this afternoon. Leopard's on the short end, however. So let's take a look at some of the highlights and then we'll take a look at some of the numbers and wrap this up. Here are the highlights. Gary, Gary, for Lafayette fans, obviously a disappointing final score. There you see uh, young Turner getting to the bucket. Watch Rodriguez. They, they had two point guards, Gary, uh, as uh, Powell finishes strong. Uh, Turner just effectively getting in, into the lane. But in the end, it was this guy, Nick Griffin, uh, who was just unstoppable. Watch the move along the baseline. I don't understand how. The ball hits the backboard in that spot. Quinn Taylor to Griffin again uh, and still goes in. Watch the soft touch kisses it off the front of the rim. I mean, any time that ball hits the rim, if you're Griffin, uh, it goes in. Taylor, Quinn Taylor with a long shot from the corner. Griffin, this one was from the bench. I mean, that, that was almost out of bounds. Matt Klinuski, the story of the day for the Leopards. Uh, just a terrific night. Watch the left-handed finish by the freshman, E.J. Stevens. You t heard Coach O'Hanlon talking a lot about the young guys. Down the stretch, Eric Stafford made some huge plays. Uh, Klinuski continued. That's a three-point play right there. Uh, Klinuski and Stafford continued to do great stuff. And how about the freshman, Alex Petrie? That's an ankle breaker right there. And uh, there you see the reaction of his teammates. Watch the spin move by Jalise. Boom, right here. I'm still waiting. Paula Jalise played better today. Lafayette needs him to do good things. Again, the powerful move to the basket by Matt Klinuski. I'd like to call it a career night. The teardrop by Stafford. Uh, again, I'd like to call it a career night by uh, Klinuski, but we'll probably see a bunch of those nights because he's just that 
that good. Uh, Stafford, the dribble handoff. The defense goes under. Never go. I don't care. Anywhere in the half court, don't go under the screen on this young man. Alex Petrie has unlimited range. I don't care how low his release is. He's going to get it off, and he's going to make more than he misses. A lot of positives for Lafayette. They're still looking for that first win. I know it's disappointing from that standpoint, Gary, but I think you'll agree there's a lot of bright spots for this Lafayette team. Yeah, no year. question about it, especially with some of those young freshmen. And Klonuski is playing Klonuski basketball. If you want to look at the number in a close game, that really sticks out. 12 offensive rebounds by St. Peter's. That is 10 more opportunities to get second point baskets. And certainly they took advantage of them. Here are the final numbers for St. Peter's. They're 82 points on 30 field goals, 13 for 15 from the foul line. They had 11 triples in the ball game, a career high for Nick Griffin, 37 points. And most of those down the stretch, he had nine in the first half. Quinn Taylor with a great all around game with a double double, 12 points and 13 rebounds. They go to two and three on the season. For the Leopards, they go to 0 and 5. They're 82 points on 25 field goals, 14 of them were triples. Triples, 18 for 20 from the foul line, led by Matt Klonuski's 30 and a career high for the young freshman, 6'3 freshman Alex Petrie with 25 points in the game. As we mentioned, the Leopards 0-5. Final score, the St. Peter's Peacocks win this one by an 86-82 to 82 score. The Leopards on the road Wednesday at Drexel. They'll be back here on Saturday at 2 o'clock against Quinnipiac. We'll have that ball game for you on the Patriot League Network and the Lafayette Sports Network will have a doubleheader the following Wednesday. That's it for John Leone, for Mike Joseph, for John Sabino, our director, and the LSN crew. We thank you for spending a Sunday afternoon with us. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.